I have a wide male fan base. That's why, like, when I started off, it was like Mermaid Gang. I had to create the Shark Boys because the be on the men be on my um Wait, my page. So it's men out there telling representing shark. shark boys yes they comment in my comments they say they're team shark boy talk shark boys shark boys yeah they shark boys and what does that mean you're the Some king bullshit. of the ocean you know you're the king of the ocean okay so <laughs> that's what you made go. it's the truth <laughs> you got it you got it it's your I mean, interview. think of retrospect right think of an ocean when you think of what's gonna kill think of one fish okay yes you're a shark all right so you you're a shark it. boy Everybody listen up. He's Team Shark Boy. I'm not no shark yes, boy. Yes, you are. I'm a grown ass man. Say it right now. I am <laughs> Team Shark Boy. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Ready, MJ? I know. Everything good? We recording? We got the audio rolling? Yo, what's popping? You know what time it is? Your boy, J Hill, Mr. J Hill Podcast. We here. Uh, special guest in the building. Uh, this girl been going crazy. I mean, her gram is just all type of which ways, but like it's working. And she making moves in the city. I mean, Atlanta, that is. Um, but Asia Nay is in the building. AKA Hurricane Nay. Did yeah. I say it right? Yeah, Asian you said Nay? it right. It's water. It's water. It's water. What's going on, man? What's good? What's, what's popping? Talk to me. You know, I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling this Atlanta heat. You know, you say, you say, you know, popping in Atlanta. We popping all over the, the states. You know what I mean? Where are you from originally? Atlanta. Atlanta. I'm from the Atlanta. South Side, Riverdale, stand up. You like it? Like, you like it? I love it. The vibe of. Like, You're here, Atlanta. right? You moved here. Yeah. All right, then. Yeah, you know, yeah. Atlanta is like an innovative place. Like, you could come here. You can start a business. You can goddamn figure. I can curse on here, right? Yeah, you can. Do you can, you know, figure your shit out here. And I, I like that for us. I don't think it's innovative though. I think so. No, nah, I think it's overpopulated. I, I feel like it's too at populated this, at this point to be innovative. I feel like there's a lot of people following the wave now, or other people' waves. In my personal opinion, depending on your niche, though. Whatever niche it is, somebody gonna find it. If it's a selling classes on how to how to. Uh, be a water boy, it's right. gonna be twenty of them motherfuckers selling classes on how to be a water boy because it worked. Right, but you are a podcast host, right? Mm -hmm. And to be politically correct, because I don't, you know, I don't know the term. You don't have to be politically but correct. But you're a podcast host, right? Mm -hmm. But you're different. But mm -hmm. you know how many different podcasts is out here? But you have yeah. your own way that you do things. So that's why I feel like you just gotta find a way to separate yourself. Yo, say that again. How many podcasts out here? So we, many. We landed what top fifty on the charts, man. Chart one hundred. So shout out to the gang, man. Um, but yeah, uh, so I, I feel like watching your gram mm -hmm. is very interesting because I know the game, mm -hmm. but I just feel like, uh, I don't know. Like, talk to me about your marketing tactic, first of all. Okay, I'm first, what is that I don't yourself. know thing? Like, what's that? Because I want to know what you don't know. All right, so it looked like you outside. Okay. And you just, it, I told you I'm not politically correct, right? Mm -hmm. It like you outside and you just like, just one of them girls that be outside doing your thing. I know better. Okay. But that's what it appears to be on Instagram. What do you think you know better, though? I'm going to tell music. you what's... Yeah, you, right, you right. You do music. So it's way more than... It's, it's, it's first, way more. It's, so that's just to bait you in, to get you following. Yeah. People going to do a bunch of crazy shit. People going to follow us to funnel them to the music. I mean, that's what I hope. I yeah. could be wrong. That's what I would hope so, right? Right. Right. Now, I just be trying to pick people's brain, like, just to see, like, what exactly do you think, like, what you're saying. Like, but, yeah, music is, like... Like that's me. Like that's that's my career. That's the path that I'm on. But it's way bigger than the music. I feel like this is just like a stepping stone to get to a higher plateau. But yeah, music is definitely me. Like I just love music. I love to create. So if this is a stepping stone to get, what what could be higher? Like what would you want to be? Serial entrepreneur. Like music is first, and then just capitalize off of that. Mm. Yeah, music is just like the foot in the door. But I love music. Like I'm just like really passionate about music. Mm. So like I just love it. Like. 
I didn't even like I didn't even grow up thinking that I was gonna do music. I went to college and stuff. Like, yeah, no, I saw you say like your boyfriend was doing music or something like that. Right? Yeah, so my boyfriend was doing music and he used to be in the studio and he sucked like not sucked to where no, like, like you said that's cool. No, I'm saying, but his punchlines wasn't really given no, to no, where. Stay, just keep, keep that same energy. Okay, I'm, I stand on my word. <laughs> nah. But uh, yeah, it wasn't really given like you know he wasn't really like savvy on the wordplay. But you know I'm a I'm a submissive woman, so I'm in the studio. I'm doing my thing, looking at my nails, touching my hair just like damn but in my mind I wouldn't even like want to think it but I would think of the words that he should be saying that mm -hmm. I know would be better than what he even saying so what makes you submissive as a woman I just feel like I cater to my man like I'm quiet when I need to be quiet that makes me submissive and mm -hmm. I feel like you should be like that with a man that like is a real man yeah what was your uh what's your uh, ex rapper name I wouldn't disclose that <laughs> You know, I don't name job. Look at you. You're a sick name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you did not. No one has ever, every time they be like, how did you start rapping? I give the same story. No one has ever asked me, like, what's his name? Yeah, I mean. It's a lot of people mm -hmm. out here who started off we thought was, wasn't was going to make it, and they really, really good now. Like yeah. a lot of artists are like that. Yeah. So what's his name? He's still flourishing right now? No. Oh. So if you said his name, we probably wouldn't know anyway. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just giving him clout, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, if you want to shout him out, don't half-ass do it. Yeah, I don't want to shout him out. He know who he is. Why? Do I he... ain't going to tag no name for him to get followers. He ever hit you up? They're going to be like, damn, who did that? He ever hit you up like, yo, why you keep going on me like that? Like, that's crazy. No, because he not stupid. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to the Instagram, right? And <laughs> in the, in the marketing, how you how you promote your music, right? Okay. So you do a lot of ass shaking, right, on the gram. Subtile, yeah. Subtile. <laughs> <laughs> you killing me. <laughs> okay, I yeah, I like, but like, I love to have a good time. Like, that's right, really the essence of it. Like, right. But I'm saying, like, I be shaking my ass because it's fun. Like, it's a great time. Like, oh, well, hold up. what a time to be alive. Can we pause real quick? Okay. I want to make a, just give a, a disclaimer. You don't have to, like, we don't got to be, like, super, like, professional. We can have fun. God, I know some people come in and be like, <laughs> be like, trying to, like, paint a whole different narrative. Like, yeah, so, um, uh, world peace and like. Oh no, I ain't that, word. I ain't word peace. Fun. Listen, listen. You heard my music. It is what it is. But what? But the thing about it is, that ain't just the end all be all. That, I'm, I'm like that for sure. Everything I ever said, I stand on it. Right. But except for your ex name. I'm not gonna say his name. That's cool. But I feel about. how I feel. No, you know. Fun. Because you know, if you ain't really doing this, like I say your name, then you on the you podcast, your shit gonna go. Like I'm, I'm giving you like what my money at for it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I feel. I ain't we don't like that. Like, it, ain't, it ain't never no, given that for me. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, let's get back to the, the marketing slash Instagram, right? <laughs> so, I get it. It's cool, right? I, I had this girl on my podcast like years ago, and she was saying like, you gotta dress how you want to be addressed. Right. First of all, do you think? Do you believe in that? No. What do you believe? I believe I dress how I feel because I I really don't wear clothes like that. Like, um, I'm really like a naked person like and it's not because i'm like ooh, come jump on me or i'm like this is how i want to be approached this is literally how i like my body to look in my aesthetic like it's like this is what i want to give you so it's body done? i got lipo before i got my uh breast augmentation yeah what <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is that <laughs> i i'm saying i got a breast augmentation and no, i got lipo oh so that's two different things Yes. A breast what? Argumentation. That what means that? like you got something in your boobs like a silicone implant. No saline. This is confusing as I bet. Wait, so it makes it sit up or something? Well that's the Um no, that's a lift. The the breast argumentation makes it bigger, I guess. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. And 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 lipo. Mm -hmm. It takes the fat out your stomach. Okay, and put it in your ass, right? No, I don't do that. I thought that was like... That's lipo plus BBL. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I f***ing around get some lipo to put my ass. They be doing the ab. They do ab etching. Men get that now. Yeah, I might f*** around and do that. But yeah, so back... To, <laughs> I'm lying, I ain't going to do it. But back to what I mean, if you pay for it, then of course you got you to gotta show it, right? It makes sense. No, that's not why I show well, it, though. Because I always dress like this. Even like, when you ain't had your body done? Yeah. Because my body's not done. Like, listen to me. This is natural. I have fat taking out my stomach. Like, it's not, like, I'm young. I'm lit. Like, I just, you know, this is how I like to dress, honey. Like, it's it's never given, let me show you off because I'm not interested, to be honest. So, it's really just like, 
this is how like I'll wake up and I'm just like this is when I put on in my closet like so cause you understand the other side of that dress how you wanna be addressed cause you understand that or you just don't even I don't care statement. yeah I don't really put parameters on me like mm. like stuff that people say like this is what it's supposed to be like I don't never live in it no, I don't it, live in it you know it's funny because I understand and I be trying to like pick people's brain because I truly understand right mm. but I know there's another side to it right? right so like for example like I know that girls i feel like girls should be able to be on instagram and do whatever the f they want right right and however they want should shouldn't garner the respect or disrespect they should get that's just right. me. I, I, I get that right. but i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sit up here and lie and say i can't understand how some is just i don't even know i don't even have no words for weird some is just weird that i mean really like if we speaking on the man population most men like but I get it because it's social media, right? So, if, like, say, for instance, you never met me, right? Mm -hmm. And you see a woman and it's like, she never closed. She's shaking her ass. You're going to think she's available. You know what I mean? But this woman could really be somebody who at home ain't got none going on. But the picture that's being painted is that's what you that's what, you, what it is. But I just feel like this a, it's a negative connotation. Like I feel like it depends on the though. Because I feel like. I mean, but more than been more. Think like that, then more that don't think like that. It's that's, the honest truth. That's because ain't getting no ass. Yeah, that's the truth. My personal opinion. That no, that's the truth. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not scared to say it. Like I feel yeah. like, cause real niggas understand the vibe. Like I yeah. know. Like, and then sometimes like like I understand like, the game. Like sometimes like that's just what bring you the money. That don't make who you. That don't make it who you are. Like even on the podcast, like a lot of my clips that went viral was probably like crazy clips. Right. Right. But that that if you come into if you look look at that episode, that episode was way more than that. Right. right, like even this conversation, I probably post some of the funny parts, but like they gonna come to it like, oh, they really talking some. That's how you work the internet, though. Exactly, and yeah. I feel like people fall for every single time. I literally did a podcast the other day, and I was just talking to my friends about. It. I'm like, damn, I talked about so much, but this is what you decided to post. But I get the game because you want to post to where it's like, damn, this is what they want to know. It's like controversial. Like, let me just say this because I know like this is what I'm gonna post. But it's like, damn, the music. Mm. Yeah. Let me ask. You, it's funny. I'm up. Pause real quick. So I seen this uh this, this Drake did this interview with the white girl like um Bobby. I don't know if you've been seeing this going mm -hmm. around. I don't think I seen that one. You know you seen this little white girl going around? She been going crazy. Her podcast um, going. She did this shit with did Funny she Marco. Do, yeah, uh huh. I see. I didn't see her doing with Drake. Yeah, she, what she did one with Funny Marco. That is dope. I didn't see. Her, did she, I seen the one with Funny Marco. She did one with Drake. She did one with uh Lil Yachty. That shit going I crazy. See, no, I only seen the one with uh Drake. So I I was going to. I mean not Drake. Um, Funny Marco. I was going to ask you because like you said they post all the wild. Right, like what's up with the music? But do you feel like you're at a space where if I just let's say paint a real picture, if I post the music, mm -hmm. right, are they going to actually come and see who this person is? Right. So that's why I just started doing podcasts. At first, I wasn't even doing podcasts. Like mm -hmm. I was just like, you know, we're not talking about the music. I'm not going, but it really just shows a different format of you. Like that's why I feel like that's why I'm like, I'll do podcasts because I'm way beyond the music. Like the music is just literally me going to the studio, locking in eight hours, mm -hmm. and then y'all just feeling like how I felt at that moment, or if I'm speaking on the situation, like, but really is way bigger than that so i love going on podcasts that's why i asked you the questions at the beginning like picking your brain because yeah, i know you're gonna see like a regular person they ain't they're gonna see the interior like they're not gonna dig dig, dig deep inside like so no facts. and i like talking like so i ain't tripping. no it's good i like people that like to talk yeah I'm, one thing but I'm the music gotta be good. included like if no, you're not even sure. asking about the music like what are we doing no facts. Yeah, we're, gonna yeah. ask, we're gonna talk about the music for sure. I brought up the the Drake situation because I feel like more people are going to the funny stuff, right? Like, yeah. Because it's going to bring them to the music. So, mm -hmm. for example, like I don't like Drake and Bobby. I don't even know or Yadi. I don't think they ever talked about the music, but they had a, a funny conversation where people want to tune in and then they want to go to the to the music. And I was wondering, like, when we doing these podcasts or these interviews, does it does that really help when we talking about the business side of it? Well, I feel as though, like, it just depends on your status already, too. Mm. Like, say, for instance, for me, I'm, like, not A-list right, yet, right? So it's like, if I'm talking about something and maybe your listeners has never heard of me, they're like, damn, she sounds interesting. Like, I want to know more about her. So mm. it works for me. For with Drake and them and, and Yachty, it's like... We already... You're just learning more about him. Like, cause, like, just speaking on Yachty, Yachty not really going on interviews, really talking. So it's like, you know, he get on there, it's like, oh, I know more. Even Drake, too. Like, you know, yeah. so. And I think on that level, like you said, as far as the A list, like, I was, I seen somebody talking about, um, like, he should be doing interviews with the culture. And I, 
I would love a Drake interview, but I understand why he I wouldn't want to. Yeah, why he wouldn't want to do that because, in my perspective, I feel like when you interviewing with a journalist, they're going to ask questions that people want to know, and then that's going to start more conversation. That's how it go viral. Like, man, he said this about this person. I feel like the Bobby route is safe. I feel like, why not? I'm gonna have fun. I don't have to worry about nobody digging in my business and shit like that. And then Drake's not from America, so it's like his culture and our culture. Like, we all black African American, right? But. Drake is Canadian, so it's like different cultural stuff that we can talk about. Yeah. Drake ain't gonna relate. Like I even seen some like why Drake ain't never speak about like um like activist and stuff like that. Like why he never spoke on it, but it's like, how can he relate? Mm. Like he can relate because he a black man, but he never like, you know what I'm saying? He never, go, man, he ain't never been through that shit. He from Canada, like he jumped off the porch straight in the to grassy. Degrassi. Like <laughs> you know, like, you know, like Drake ain't Drake don't know, he don't even probably give a like to be honest though so. no facts i think i don't know i feel like people be scared too like because if you if you try to go too far away from the music like if you try to be on some activist it could be detrimental yeah, n- yeah like why did you say that then now you gotta really explain yourself i feel like the people that win is the people that really don't give a f- yeah like cardi people be mad that she speak on political stuff and she be saying some real sh- but because of her platform it's like how can cardi speak on that but cardi really be saying some real ass sh- so, Bro, I personally love Cardi. Because, I love like, Cardi too. Even when she talk about the shit she be talking about it, the, the shit she be talking about, I love it because it comes from her and it's not the most polished, right? And like, it's authentic. Yeah, that's yeah. why I like it because it's like it sound like one of the girls that I'm around the way. It, yeah. it sound it sound like Where you how from? I was sound. I'm from Baltimore. Oh, okay. So, like, I was actually born in Maryland. For real? What yeah. About? Um, I was, I, see, this is the crazy thing. So as soon as I was born, I like moved to Atlanta when I was a baby. So that's okay. why I rep Atlanta. But I was born in Southern Maryland Hospital, which I believe is like, like, Clinton. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, Prince George County, whatever. But I'm from Atlanta though. Yeah, you know yeah. the vibes. Nah, Baltimore, we don't even like, you know, like. It's, I don't, I've it's been different. out there though. My mom used to stay out there like. In the bottom, city, Baltimore? Yeah, Baltimore, Baltimore City. Yeah. Ride the trains and everything. I know about that life. Okay. Yo, back to the. Uh, Catch a little hug. What? You know, you're on the street, catch a little hook. We never did no <laughs> like that in our life. I've seen it. We I've seen people doing that. Yes, they did. You want better hundred dollars? I've been there. You I'm not telling you a joke. I'm telling you. You want like, better hundred dollars? I can call somebody. You want better hundred dollars? Do you want to call somebody? Is if I call, if I are, call are they somebody, from Baltimore? yeah. You want better hundred dollars? If I call them and they said that this is real, well, I'm gonna get hundred dollars. And what you said? What you said it was against? They P- do, do this, this to the camera. They put their finger out or this. No, 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 no. See, you saying or it's either nah. this or this. Nah, I can't. It's either if this or this. Bet, we gotta bet strictly. But or, it's a finger motion, it, and a car comes. You, you get in the car, and it hey, cash hey, drives hey, you where you need to go. Hey, you ain't say that. You but you know, this. but you know what I'm talking about. Nah, like this. I'm just saying. You said a hub, and you did this. Is it this or this? You want to bet? Okay, if y'all want a cash car on y'all stand on the street, which what's the what's the finger language? I'll get you. I'll give you. I'll give you some games. It's actually called a hack. And we Thank you. It's, you see what I'm saying? You <laughs> see you what I'm like saying? This. But you see what I'm saying? You I don't know, know exactly. what the f- this is. But I'm not from there. But I've been there. I knew y'all do some with y'all fingers, and it's like a car comes. Do it. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do It's like this, bro. Exactly. We, we ain't do that in like years, though. But you got, you, you know, a little something. Yeah, I've been out Yo, there. Back. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. So, all right, so back to the the marketing part of it, right? Okay. Do you Does it get frustrating of the people you attract, though? Because we can't ignore, yeah, you want to dress how you want to dress, right? And that's cool. You should be able to do that. But we can't ignore the other side of it that it does attract a certain type of audience, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Does that get annoying? What's your sign? Because I'm going I'm to I'm really tell you. What's your sign? Does it matter? Yeah, t- I'm going to tell Take you. Take a guess. 
Come on, read me. Aquarius? Mm mm. Cancer. The total. Gemini. Yeah. I knew it. You ain't know what you said, Aquarius. The Third fuck? time is the charm, my nigga. Listen, oh, let me tell you this though. I'm I'm I, the reason I said this, cause I'ma just tell you the type of person I am. I don't yeah. know if you believe in the signs and all that stuff, but I do. I'm a Virgo. I'm very optimistic. Like I literally like I attract I have a wide male fan base. That's why like when I started off it was like Mermaid Gang. I had to create the Shark Boys because the niggas be on the men be on my um Wait, my page. Mitchell, it's men out there telling Representing shark. shark boys, yes, they comment in my comments. They say they're team shark boy, talk shark boys, shark boys. Yeah, they shark boys. And what does that mean? You're the Some king bullshit. of the ocean. You know, you're the king of the ocean. Okay, so <laughs> that's some shit you made the fuck up. It's the truth. <laughs> you got it. You got it. It's your I mean, interview. Think of retrospect, right? Think of an ocean. When you think of what's gonna kill, think of one fish. Okay, a shark. A shark. All right. So you you're a shark it. boy. Everybody listen up. He's Team Shark Boy. I'm not no shark yes, boy. Yes, you are. I'm a grown ass man. Say it right now. I am <laughs> Team Shark Boy. <laughs> I'm a grown ass. He said I'm not shark. No, I'm not. I mean, because I couldn't say shark men. Like we did a vote on Instagram. Like they said, shark boys. It's fine. It's cool. I fuck with it. But yeah. Anyways, it doesn't bother me. I have a huge man fail ba- fan base. Am I tried? Hell yeah. Mm. All the time. Does it bother me? No, it's funny. Like, I will laugh with my friends with it. It's, like, hilarious. You like the attention. That's what it is. No, Don't it's like, it comes go. with it. You know what I mean? It's like, I like the attention because this is who I want to be. So it's mm-hmm. like, how could you not? Unless I be somebody like, ooh, I'm antisocial. I can't be around. Like, no, you got to love it. Like, you got to live to learn it. Like, really, like, you show what you want. You know what I'm saying? And you, 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 you cultivate yourself. When the last time you had a man? Who says I don't have one now? You got one? Do I? Do you? Do I? I don't know. I don't know either. What's his name? I don't know. But do you got a boyfriend? But do I? Hmm. What do you think? If you get the right answer, I'll tell you. I don't think you have a boyfriend. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to go with your thoughts. You said if I had the right answer. But I said time. that we're going to go with your thoughts. So I didn't have the right answer? I don't know. Why are you playing these games? <laughs> Do you got a man or not? Because if you got a man and you're not claiming this man, that's fucked up. I mean, it's just like, do you got a woman? I have a fiance. Ooh. That's everybody clapping in the room. You that's amazing. Clapping. We love black. I know. But we love black love. But, um, you know, honestly, that side of my life, I don't speak on. I got somebody, though. I, I'll do that. I'll do that. I ain't mad at you. I'll do that. Everybody got somebody. Let me ask you this then. Do you not speak on that because that fucks up the marketing? No, it don't matter. Because I heard a girl say, like, she was like, she. I think she was talking online or something like that. She might have been talking to me. I don't know. It was a long time ago. And she didn't want to talk about her boyfriend because it, it took away from the illusion of her being available. And that was a big part of the marketing part, right? Like when she's online and she's like promoting, she she gotta have men who think that she's available so they can lust over her and she make more money like that. I don't think that's the truth as an artist. I feel like even if I said I had a man, right, it would just be like, I want you more. That's a fact. Like, I ain't gonna lie, but I feel like I don't speak on that if, if, if I did or if I didn't because I just feel like, how was I helping or hurting? Mm. Like what I do at my house is what I do at home. Mm. Like I don't bring my home into like you know my home on social. That's my other home. That's my social home. Mm. And then my home and my house where I live at, that's my private home. So it's like I don't gotta intertwine the two. Like when you know what you know, it is what it is. How hard is that to, to explain to somebody else though? Why do I need to explain it? I mean, if you date, you meet somebody. Like oh, I'm just, I'm just. Mm. Well, I feel as though. If I meet somebody, they can know. Like, you know, if I meet somebody, I feel like, you know, we can, you know, I mean, mm. I feel like it's a conversation. But other than that, it don't need to be no conversation. Because no. what are we doing? If I'm not interested, what are we doing? No, that makes sense. What are we doing? No, I get it. Okay. Yeah. Yo, so back to the um the shit. So you, you embrace it, the attention, right? Yeah. Or, or it, it don't matter. As long as it brings the dollars, I love it. But where, when is it too far? Never. So... Not too long ago, we seen the situation with Sukiyana, mm-hmm. right? And we seen how, why, like, she pre- we can't ignore that she presents herself in a way. Right. No matter if that's who she really are 
or really is or not, right? right. She present herself in a way, and that could be her persona, right? And right. that's respectable. That's what she is. But somebody, right, down the line with YK or Cyrus took it too far. Right. You say that it's never too far, but I mean... That's clearly. I mean, because I don't feel like that was upon attention. I feel like for him it was attention, for, but for her it's not. So it's like, mm, how can I say this? I don't feel like she expected that. Like, you know, even sitting in that spot, I twerk all the time. Right. You know, I do what I do in my space. So I just feel like at the end of the day, you a man. Would you want somebody to do that to your daughter? I could talk about Goddamn, fucking in the middle of the flow, fucking in the middle of the street, doing whatever I do, but that doesn't invite you into my space. Mm. Yeah, like I could talk about whatever I talk about, that doesn't invite you in my space. You shouldn't touch no woman. Like that's that's like you a kid, like you in school. Like oh my god, I'm a kid. Like oh she look good, I'm a kid. Let me goddamn, I'm a kid. That's that's kid thinking. But man thinking, would you ever do that? Would I ever do that? Like not, I mean, not saying outside of you being no, engaged. No. I I'm have saying a conversation. I could have a right. Conversation. I'm saying as a man though, a man is never doing that because he knows your parameters. Like she could talk about whatever. She could be fucking on the net. That doesn't give you. Oh, let me just like nah. You gotta respect. Respect goes a long way, and that goes from yourself with your mother. Like which way? Which oh way? yeah, you're right one. Thank you, MJ. Great catch, man. You had a nigga trying to reach through the camera. Because she's a woman. She knows the vibes. Yeah, I, I wasn't looking, so I didn't. My bad. Yeah, uh, what I was saying. Um, No, nah, I mean, you're right. Well, and, how, long, <clears throat> how long was it showing for? Was her nipple showing? I thought the bottom. I s- the nipple or was mm. How bad is it? Because I don't, I don't really. It wasn't bad, I don't yeah. think. When I seen. If it's not like a. Uh... Yeah, no, I got you. <laughs> So yeah, uh, shit. Um, yeah, so I just feel like he was totally out of line because it doesn't really matter what she talk about. She could talk about anything. Like I'm just saying, like grabbing somebody's face. Like I get it. You say what you say in the records. I say it. I talk crazy. Like because that's what I want in the bedroom. Mm. Maybe I'm talking about an experience. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm in the middle of a basketball game. Grab my face and kiss me. You totally out of line. What are you doing? Mm. I didn't give you that signal. I don't care what I talk about. No, nah, that makes sense. And you spoke. That's just like me saying Chris Brown got dick prints, and I walk up to him and try to grab his dick. That's like the same thing. That's like the same thing. That's that's like disrespectful. Like that's like the same thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, cause we got hella niggas that come up and and you know y'all show y'all in the boxes or y'all might got OnlyFans and. A woman would never grow up to you and be like, "Let me grope you." Like, I mean, I don't know. I didn't ask you. No, you crazy. What you think these guys? I said are- a woman. I didn't say a girl. I didn't say a female. I said a woman. So I ain't speaking on. Yeah, and the a other man species. would never do that. I'm not saying speaking on other species. Why? Cause why? K. Osiris is a boy. Okay. And so I think. I mean, I think that's a good conversation in itself, though. I feel like because that, that that's not the only thing to, to determine if we boys or men or not, or yes, girls or women. That's not the only. That's thing. your thinking. It boils down to your thinking. It boils down to your thinking. It does. Re- regardless of you admit it or not, it boils down to your thinking. I mean, I feel like it, it boils down to the people you're around. It boils down to the environment. Your experiences, your experiences right? Right. And like outside of that, right? Because that's just a touchy topic. So outside of that situation, I feel like there's a lot of things that we go through as black individuals. Since we're here having this fucking serious conversation, I won't have it. But as black men and black women, right? There's right. a lot of things that we like coming up. Because shit, we only got one parent. Some some of us don't have any parents. Right. There's a lot of things that I grew we up don't from learn. the grimy, so I understand. Right. Right. So there's a lot of things we gotta learn as adults. Right. right. It's not boy or gir- boy or girl, man or woman. There's a lot of things that we learn as adults, and there's a lot of adults out here who becoming grown, right? Becoming women, becoming men, right? right? That's an extreme part of it. But we when we I, when we look outside of that, it's hard to say we to judge somebody by their actions and say if they a boy or, or girl or not. Because it's like, bro, we all learning at our different paces. I get it, but it's like you've been in this industry for so long. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have a child, and I just feel as though certain things are just off the table. No, outside of that, if though, he grabbed her butt, it would be different. No, it wouldn't. Outside of that, because like I can't, like, I'm not about to be excusing that. That's weird shit, right? Yeah, that's weird. But at the same time, I can understand a, a, a boy not having no direction and need right. to be taught. 
right? Yeah, I agree. That's why I, I understand. Like, I, a lot of people ain't like it. I hope, damn, I, I hope I don't get canceled for this. But when Meek was like, bro, that nigga just needs his ass whooped. I agree with that. I did, too. He probably I never agree, learned. I agree with that, too, because, I mean, for one, like, I didn't grow with my mom. Like, you know what I'm saying? My mom was on drugs for a long part of my time. I grew up with my dad in the house. I grew up with my grandma. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, grew up with, when I was in school, motherfuckers didn't even know what I was going through at home. Like, I'm talking about we had nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lights off, boiling water, the shower. Like, I, I grew up to that. So I can understand that, and I can understand making a living for myself. Mm. So I understand both sides, but at the end of the day, you have accountability. Fact. You know what I'm saying? When you grow up and you know what's right and what's wrong, because when you do something wrong, you feel it in your soul. Yeah, because you can lie to yourself, mm. but when you know what's wrong, but God put that in everybody, you, you know. can feel it. Fact. Right. So when you do wrong, if you decide to say, oh, okay. I excuse his behavior. Everybody patting you. I excuse his behavior. And not just speaking on him, when you at a certain plateau, they gonna excuse a lot of shit. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? It, a lot a of people. Of money, they gonna excuse a it's lot a of lot shit. of yes men going on, and that's the problem. It's a lot of no direction going on. That's the problem, especially with men, especially with women. I can say it both ways. Like, I do what I do, but I'm marketing in a certain way. If you really, that's the surface. Like, if you go to the music, it's really like that. It's really speaking on life story, it's speaking on love, it's speaking on club shit but we we got like different like it's different it's different levels to it mm. so you know you just gotta yo do you think when it comes to the music do you think people look at even damn that's crazy you think people even separate the music and look at you differently when it comes to the music because a lot of the stuff is like a typical party music right yeah. like i feel like a lot of times when you hear these party artists they don't get the respect as the the lyricists i guess yeah and i feel like tiktok is the biggest thing because before the pandemic it was not this many artists, right? So I was rapping before the pandemic, but um, how long have you been rapping? Like five years? Five years, yeah. yeah. Um, as far as seriously, I got signed to my independent label, Twenty Twenty. Who that? Break 'em off music group, you know the motherfucking vibes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So since then, that's when I really was able to take it serious because I was in a club at one time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I went to college, I had several businesses, like I went through the motions, like you know. But I just feel like everybody's story is different, you know. Yeah. So Everybody's story is different. You don't think you you are separated by the the lyricists or the female? I don't lyricists? think I'm separated yet. No, not yet. But see, you know, everything has been as a marketing tool. Mm. I knew that I was at thirty thousand followers in twenty twenty. I'm at two hundred and fifty seven a day. Thousand. Can I get a shout out? Yeah. We can get shot. We're gonna do like a little collab post or some shit. Yeah, we can do that. For right, sure. I love black people. I love <laughs> I love black people. Please, God, oh, thank you for black oh, you people. You don't wanna you don't wanna just promote your shit. You just No, nah, I love black people. I love white people, Mexican, whatever, but I love my culture. I love my culture. So anything post or just send it to me. I love Virgos. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah for sure. We I are optimistic. Virgos. But like you said I, what? Optimistic. Oh yeah, yeah. But I feel as though um, you know, with me starting with club music, it was because that's where I was at in that space. Mm. You know, um, when I first started doing music, I was straight melodic. Like, that's just like my soul. Like, I have so many melodic joints. But I started club because that's what caught on. We ran it up. Ran it the fuck up. You got some videos of this. We ran it the fuck up. Numbers too. Yeah, we ran it the fuck up a million views at Independent. You know what I'm saying? And all this is brick by brick. But, you know, once people start actually catching on to this kind of stuff, it's like... I can, that's me too Like I got seven different personalities So mm -hmm. it's like That's me too You know what I'm saying I'll, I'll feed into that But now I'm in a space where That's me too But let me show y'all something else mm. So like I just dropped a single last Friday Called You Need Me We sampled um, What's the damn song called um, Guy And yeah Peace of my love mm. It's called You Need Me Why do and you Go ahead I know you're gonna ask why we sampled But hold on So it's like I wanted to give that glimpse Of that melodic Cause you know, down the line, we're we going to drop a melodic tape because, you know, music is just really an instrument. And I feel like my voice is an instrument. It's just really whatever you take it. So mm. I wasn't going to go to the sample question. I was going to ask, why do artists in general, like, y'all love to, like, try new shit? And to me, like, unapologetically being me, just being honest, don't take nothing from it. I, I just think trying new shit as an artist is the dumbest shit ever. Because why? if you got something that worked, right? Why not? Why go away from that just to show people that you're different when this can pay your bills and change your life and do everything that you got in the music game to do? Um, I would just say, like, creatively, that's just not the goal. Like, um, is the goal like to be I would, I like, 
I wouldn't say I'm the dopest lyricist, but I'm the dopest to get a concept across. So I don't really be like club music is just it for me. R&B melodic is just me because I feel like it intertwines because that's my brand. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, just like how Nicki did it. You know, shout out to Nicki the GOAT. Nicki went pop, you know what I'm saying, far off in her career, but she knew that that was not just the kind of music. When you love music, it's like, let me try it. Mm. And if it works, it works. Like, even when I dropped the You Need Me and, like, for me, well, let's go back. For me, people didn't know when I dropped my first mixtape chosen one because I didn't have that much of a fan base then. I had melodic vibes on there, so that always been me, mm. right? So now I just drop You Need Me because it's like I want y'all to know this ain't just all I got. I'm going to just keep splashing y'all, keep splashing y'all. And to be honest, I didn't even think that it was going to be hot like that. I I know the song dope, right? But I know my fan base. So I'm like, they ain't going to fuck with it. You Need Me going crazy right now mm. to the point where we shooting the video tomorrow. We weren't even going to shoot a video. Like it, It's not a single. It's not nothing we're pushing. We literally just... I got so much music. It's like let's just put it out. Let's just see how it catches, and it and it is. That's like the, I think that's the positive of like being versatile in the music though, because it can hit. Yeah. Right. I'm just saying like my personal opinion is like man, shit. If I got something that work, I'm if gonna you do that A-list, shit too. Though, if you a list, like if you're on my, if you're on me, I'm not on no list right now. I'm on God's list, right? Talk so shit, so on my list, like you know, I could really do anything. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. When I, I don't just move quick like, oh, but I'm humble about it. But it's like, okay, I'm I'm seeing this, this is what they like. Okay, let me like I'm I'm definitely catering to them, but I gotta cater to myself because that's how I'm gonna make the best music. That's how it's gonna be the best income. Cause I'm trying to make a record. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make a TikTok song to where it's like, okay, six months down the line, who is this? Mm-hmm. Like and I could say names, but I'm not gonna do that. Cause it's a lot of who is this. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm never her. So it's like, yeah, I'm gonna keep on venturing to different stuff cause that's my body. It's never like Looking at this, let me try to do this. Like, no, it's like, this is what I like to create. Like, I say, send me beats. I literally be in my room, right? They send me beats. I'm listening on my headphones, on my beats. I'm like, oh, okay. I like this. And I immediately write. Like, I, it's not even a thought. It's like, words just come in my head. Like, mm. so. My God, Dylan here, he make beats, man. He might have to holler. What's up, Dylan? Her, he makes some what good you got? beats. He got some good beats, though, for real. Okay, I'm going to fuck with Dylan then. Yo, it's crazy. You just said some some real shit because like you said, A list can like do that, but it's some A list artists who <laughs> do that and we don't like. But let me ask you this though: oh, When the last sure. time when the last time have you listened to an album twice? I don't. You know, honestly, I was I was just thinking, talking to me about that, but I don't really listen to other people's music. Like, um, I gotta really like the album. Like, I I'm gonna just say this: Rallo Rodriguez is that his name? Yep, his album is like that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I I play it. Yeah, and, and before that, and you played like, it back like multiple I, times. And when I get in my car, that's what I listen to. If I'm not listening to me, like because it's real shit. Like baby has some shit. Like it just it just depends. Like, but I'm not really like me. I listen to me mm. because I'm thinking of new ideas. Like I'm thinking I'm just I'm listening to me. Like. I, that's just the space that I am. That's my focus right now. So I don't really. And if I do listen to other artists, it's R and B. No, I, I ask that because even outside of the viral hits, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know when the last time I just listened <laughs> to a record. And it's nostalgic, or, right? Or yeah, like or a project multiple times because a lot of this music don't have like real playback. Like what is it? Uh, the playback substance. Effect. Yeah, yeah, playback value. Like I don't. I don't Drake I don't is get probably that. the last person to really do it. And that's, but, but see, that's why I say when you're like, why do artists shift and do this music and then switch to different? It's because, like, for me, I started with the club music and I really started because I really can create that music. I really can create humbly anything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if I'm in the right space, I can create that. And you probably want to shake your ass too a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm turned up. I'm young <laughs> as a motherfucker. Like, I'm, I'm turned up. I got no kids. Like, I'm living my best life. You, you, you tell people, like, your, your artist age, that's a thing down here. I like, am whatever age I am, baby. Whatever you think I am. People be like, they got artist ages and shit. Uh, no, nah, I just got whatever age you think I am. Oh, I How old do you think I am? 21? It, oh, shit. That's, I don't know money with it. <laughs> I don't know. No, that's right. <laughs> no, you better boy. say that shit. Fuck up and say 30. No, you 21. I'm turning 21, time. August 29th. 21. Every, every single time. Mm-hmm. Nah, man, I fuck with it then. Damn. So, and you doing the uh, music push now, everything by yourself. I think that's dope. What the team, but yeah. Yeah. You only travel with one guy. You need like three of these motherfuckers. It's it's a few of us, but you know when you got a hard body, you don't need more than one. 
It's like that. No, I like that. Yeah, um, how you enjoying the independence? You put a lot of pressure on my man, you see? Shit, you see he chilling though. You see what he <laughs> you see what he doing. <laughs> he he said a word. Has he said anything? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But you know, honestly, like a lot of people don't know this. So I'm signed to an independent label that started off with bone crusher, right? Mm. Pandemic started. I was in the club. Hello, I had my dancing shoes on. And and I stopped cold turkey. February twenty twenty, right? And I went straight into artist development. Like, before I even got signed, they was like, every day I would wake up, gym, mm. go see Bone. We would do artist development, go to the studio, go to sleep, wake up. Do the same thing repetitively. So it's like, you know, I'm not in a rush to even be with a bigger engine because we moving. Mm. Like, I'm moving on the same plateaus as these girls that got engines, that owing money, like big money. Like, you know, I'd rather move with my team to where it's feel like it's efficient. I feel like they really fuck with me, and I'm gonna be priority. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? They gon' they gonna fuck with they. No, fact. They know they know what type of work I'm putting in. They know what the bigger picture is. The bigger labels they not seeing that, and when they do, that's when I will sign. Mm. I'm not opposed to it, but it's like at this point, I ain't ready. I ain't there, and mm. I'm I'm a, I'm cool with saying that. I ain't there yet. You don't never feel like that's. We could have signed though. Let me just say that we could have signed. <laughs> so you you had a situation that we we could have signed about four five times, and that's just me thinking off my off my dome. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering, do you think sometimes being independent and understanding your value or understanding understanding your worth, does that work as a disadvantage? It can. Because um certain opportunities are only brought with the engine. Mm. You know what I mean? But um look at Nikki. She top priority, you know what I'm saying? And it's like I feel like you gotta get people interested. At the end of the day, this is the music business and I feel like you gotta get people interested. Just because I got a million streams or I got a million views on YouTube, what makes me better than somebody else that has a million views? Like what's the differentiation? And I feel like with myself, I gotta get myself to where it's like everybody calling. Mm. Like Cause there's so many artists, especially female now, it's our time. So everybody trying to get in, everybody trying to get some money. Mm. And it's like the money ain't really nothing for me. <laughs> the being on the top priority status, that's what it is for me. Like, I ain't really tripping because the money gonna come. Like, mm -hmm. money always gravitates to me. So. That's hard. I fuck with him. I appreciate you for pulling up. Tell the people um, what you got going on right now. You got a single out. You about to shoot the video. How to follow you, how to support you, all that good shit. I know, that's right. What's up, y'all? I go by Agent A, a.k.a. Miss Hurricane A, if you nasty a little bit. Y'all can follow me on Instagram or all social platforms at The Agent A. I got a new single dropping, 811, called Moving the Dress. It's going to be the hottest shit of the summer, winter, fall, whatever you call it, and spring. So y'all go tap in, and I follow back as long as you talk nice. Yeah, shout out to the team. She ain't following you niggas back, man. I do follow niggas back. That shit sound good. No, I, I honestly do follow. I, like I, I follow. So you got two hundred and fifty thousand. I got like I follow you like follow two thousand people. And you got two hundred fifty thousand followers. I said they talk nice, and I already told you a lot of niggas don't talk nice. It be a lot of weird niggas now. You ain't gotta tell yeah. me. Yeah. It be a lot of bunch of weird people. But I fuck with you though, cause listen, I been hearing you up like, let me get on there, and you was like shy to me. I had to unsend my messages a little bit, but it's cool. No, no, no. I seen him. <laughs> I seen him. I seen it. I, he said I seen him. No, nah, I just, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel like. You gotta wait to the right time. Yeah, it's just timing. Like, it's crazy. I can't believe I'm saying this shit. Because <laughs> people used to say that to me. I hate that. No, I still, I mean, I'm lying. I, I still respect hate the it. business, though. I still hate it to this day. But no, I, I, I told you. I, I, I was following and everything. Yeah, but you just follow me. No, Recently, yes, you did. I'm telling you, you did. It just, I just seen. It, I, I promise you, but you know, I understand the business because it's like. No, don't hit me with the business shit because I hate that. No, but that's what it is. Like, I swear to God, it's I've like followed you, bro. No, I've been you did not. You. I'm telling you, it has not. Like I was hitting you up, and I would unsend my messages because it's like I'm gonna wait to the so right time. So it's recent, like six months, a year. Yeah, six shit? months. Okay, all right. Okay, I'll take that. Yes. So, but you was hitting me up before that. Yeah. Damn. I probably started hitting you up like eight, nine months ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, but I don't understand it, but I understand how I go. Like, you ain't see it. You don't know who I am, but it made sense. Everything always work in my favor. Yeah, no, nah, facts. And I appreciate you for even understanding that. Because, like, a lot of people probably take it personal. I really, I ain't see it. Emotion over emotion. I don't give a fuck. Ooh. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna lie. I don't. <laughs> I fuck with it, man. J Hill, J Hill Podcast, Asian A, everybody. It's a wrap. We out. Mermaid Gang.